off of this place. Come on. Hey. Come on, put those hands together. Holly, that's what I'm talking about. Come on, open up those mouths. Oh, come on and bless the Lord with me. 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 Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, come on, put those blessed hands together. Right there, right there. Put your hands together right there. Come on, bless those hands. Oh, come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Help me say it. Bless. The Lord with me. Come on and bless his name. Bless the Lord with me. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Say it like you mean it. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hey. Come on, clap your hands if you love Jesus. Clap your hands if you really love the Lord. Clap your hands if you really love Jesus. Clap your hands if you really love the Lord. Clap your hands if you really love Jesus. Clap your hands if you really love the Lord. Clap your hands if you really love Jesus. Clap your hands if you really love the Lord. Clap your hands if you really love Jesus. Clap your hands if you really love the Lord. Clap your hands if you really love Jesus. Clap your hands if you really love the Lord. Clap your hands if you really love Jesus. Clap your hands if you really love the Lord. Clap your hands if you really love Jesus. Clap your hands if you really love the Lord. Come on, everybody. 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 Clap your hands if you really love Jesus. Hey, come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hey, come on and do your dance with me. Come on and do your dance with me. Come on and help me say it. Come on and do your dance. Your dance with me. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hey. Come on and clap your hands with me. Come on and clap your hands with me. Come on and clap your hands with me. Come on and help me say it. Clap your hands with me. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, come on and bless the Lord with me. 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 Come on and help me say it. Bless the Lord with me. Come on and help me say it. Bless the Lord with me. Come on and help me say it. Bless the Lord with me. Come on and help me say it. Now shout. Sing hallelujah. hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Oh, come on, this way you come in. Come on, clap. Clap your hands if you really love Jesus. Clap your hands if you really love the Lord. Clap your hands if you really love Jesus. Clap your hands if you really love the Lord. Clap your hands if you really love 
Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Come on, now let's let them clap their hands. Come on. Put your back into it. Come on. Come on, do it like you love them. Come on, one more time. Hey. Hallelujah. How many come to bless the Lord in this place? Huh? How many, how many come to lift up your voice in this place? Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Somebody bless those hands in this place and give him honor. Give him praise. How many love the Lord in this place? Huh? How many really love him? Come on. We say it with our lips, but do we really mean it in our hearts tonight? Come on. Do we really love him? Yeah. Hallelujah. How many just come to just say, Lord, if it had not been for you, I don't know where I would be tonight. Yeah. Come on. It was you that brought me through this whole day. It was you that covered me over. It was you that supplied me with all of my needs. It was you that put food on my table. Come on. It was you that kept me in my right mind. Yeah. Come on. Hallelujah. It was you that when I was driving on the street, I didn't have an accident. Yeah. When I was texting and I know I should have been driving. Come on. Let's keep it real. Come on. He covered us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He put traveling angels all the way around us. Amen. Amen. How, how many can say that today? Amen. Come on. We just come by today to just tell them that we love you, Lord. Yeah. Come on. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. Hallelujah. You reign on How many know that he reigns on the throne today? For you are God. How many know that he's God and God alone? God alone. Because of you. Because of you. Hallelujah, because it is. I can sing to you this song. How many just come by to tell them? I just want to say that, that I love you more than anything. More Hallelujah. Than How many can testify that today? Anything. Hallelujah. I lift my hands. I lift Hallelujah. my hands in total. Hallelujah. Land. Come on, say it like you mean it. You reign. You reign Hallelujah. On the throne. Because of you. For you are God Hallelujah. And God alone. I know it's rainy outside. Come you, on. They're gone. They don't even matter. Hallelujah. But because of you, I can sing this song. I sing Hallelujah. This I just come by to say. I love you more. You more, more than, than anything. anything. Come on, one more time. I lift my hands. I lift my hands. I lift my Hallelujah. hands in total. We're not playing with you today, Father. We open up our mouths and let you know how much we adore you today. Because you reign. You reign. Because of you, for you are Hallelujah. God and God alone. Hallelujah. Because of you, my cloudy, my cloudy days are gone. For are good, gone. what I'm looking at, but because you, I sing this I song. Sing Hallelujah. We just come by to say, Lord, I just want to say, I love you more. I come on. Love you more than anything. Come on. Now say it like you all over it. Say it. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I worship and I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you. Want to tell Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Come on. How many love him today? Oh, I love, I love you, Jesus. 
I worship and adore you. How many worship him today? I Hallelujah. And adore you. I just come to tell you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. Oh. Come on. Somebody stand to your feet and just say, Lord, I love you. Come on. I love you, Jesus. Come on, say it like you mean it. I worship and I worship Hallelujah. And adore you. Just want to tell you. Lord, I love you. Hallelujah. Lord, I love yeah. you Come on, no music right quick. Hallelujah. Come on, let's say it to the top of our lungs. Come on, say, I love you, Jesus. Yeah. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Hallelujah. Just want to tell you. From the bottom of my heart. Lord, I love you. Lord, Hallelujah. I love, I love you. I love you. I love you. Lord, more, more than my family. More than my car. More than my job. One more time. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. All over the building say, I worship and I worship and Hallelujah. I just want to tell you, Just want to tell you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Yeah. Not all over the building. Come on, this is your opportunity to open up your lips and just tell them how much you love them, how much you adore them. Come on. With no, without us singing, come on. You make a joyful noise unto him right now. Come on, open up your mouth and say, Lord, I love you. Hallelujah. In spite of what I'm going through, despite of what it looks like, despite what the doctors may say, Lord, I love you. And I know love you more than anything. I love you more than my life. Come on. I love you more than my job. Come on. Open up your mouth and tell them that you love them today. Tell them that you adore them. Tell them there is none like them in this place. Come on. There's none like them all over the world. Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I worship and adore. I Hallelujah. worship and adore. I just wanted to take out some time to tell you. Lord, I love. Lord, I love. Yeah. One more time, one more time. Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship and I worship and adore you. Just wanted to take out the time. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Yeah, listen. I know we're getting close to Resurrection Sunday, but how many know that Jesus went to Calvary? Come on, let's say it together. Come on, say, Jesus went, come on, to Calvary, come on, to save a wretch like you and me. That's love. How many know that was the ultimate sacrifice? Come on. That's love. Come on. Say it like you mean it. Say, Jesus went. Jesus went. Come on. To Calvary. Come on. To save a wreck. Hallelujah. Like you and me. That's love. How many know that's love tonight? Who else would do that for you? Come on. That's love. How many know that they hung him high? They hung him high. Come on. They hung him high. Come on. They stretched. They stretched him wide. Come on. He hung his head. For me, he died. For me, Come on. That's, died. Love. That's love. That's love. That's love. That's love. That's love. That's love. Yeah. That's love. Come on. One more time. They hung him high. They hung him high. Come on. They hung him high. 
they stretch too wide. Stretch too wide. Hey. He hung. For me, his he died. For me, that's he love. Died. That's love. How many know that? That's love. That's some true love right there. Yeah. Come on. That's love. But that's not how. That's not how the story ends. But that's not how. That's not how. The story ends. That's where you get excited yeah. because three. three days he rose again. again. He rose again. again. That's, that's love. love. That's that's love. That's love. That's love. That's that's love. That's yeah. Love. Oh. Jesus, come on. Jesus went to Calvary to, Calvary to save the rich. Like you and me, like you that's and me, love. that's love, yeah, that's love, that's love, that's love, oh, he hung his head, he hung his head, they hung him high, they stretched him wide, he hung his head, for me he died, yeah, Hallelujah. That's love, yeah. That's love. And that's not how the story ends. And that's not how the story ends. That's not how the story ends. The story ends. Three days later. Three days later. Three days later. That's love. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody give him some praise and some honor in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And because of that, y'all, we're blessed. How many know that we're blessed? Come on. How many know we're blessed? Come on. Hallelujah. Now you can stand to your feet for this one and put those hands together. Come on. Hey. Everybody say bless. 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 Say bless. We're blessed, we're blessed. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We bless when we come and when we go. We cast down every struggle. Sickness and poverty must cease. For the devil is defeated. We are blessed. Let me hear you say bless. 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 Say bless. We're blessed, we're blessed. We're blessed, blessed in, in the, the city. city. We're, we're blessed, blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We, we, we hey. down every stronghold, sickness and poverty. But the devil is, but the devil is defeated. Shout, we, we are blessed. And we say, blessed, 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 Say bless, bless, bless. Say we bless, 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 we bless in the city, we bless in the field, we bless when we come and when we go. We, we have found every come on, every day poverty must see. But we are blessed, we are blessed. Listen, hey, late in the midnight hour, 
If God's going to turn it around, he's going to turn in my favor. How many know that? Say, hey, say late. Late in the midnight hour. God. God's going to turn it around. He's going. He's going to work in your favor. Late in the midnight hour. Say it. Say late. Late in the midnight hour. God. He's going to work. He's going to work in your favor. He's going to work in your favor tonight. Stay late. Late in the midnight hour. God. God's going to turn it around. And around. And around. And around. And around. And around. Say, say, turn that thing around. Turn that thing around. Say, turn that thing around. Turn that thing around. Say, turn that thing around. Turn that thing around. Say, turn that thing around. Turn that thing around. Say, turn that thing around. Say, turn that thing around. Turn that thing around. Turn that thing around. Say, turn that thing around. And 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 around. Come on, turn. Come on. And around. And around. And around. And around. And around. And around. Listen, y'all turn it around. Look, whatever you're going through. And around. And around. And around. And around. And around. And around. Listen, devil, you thought you had me. But guess what? He's turning it around. He's turning it around. He's turning it around. He's turning it around. Say, say, devil, you a liar. 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 My God's gonna turn it. Say, God's gonna turn it. Say, God's gonna turn it. Say, God's gonna turn it. Around. And 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 around. Say, devil, you a liar. Say, devil, you a liar. Say, devil, you a liar. Devil, you a liar. God's gonna turn it. 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 And around. 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 And around, and around, and around, hey, and around, and around, and around, and around. Come on, play the devil mad, and come on, make him mad, and declare it today that no matter what I'm going through, God's gonna turn this around in my favor. God's gonna turn it around in my favor. Devil, you meant it for bad, but God has turned it around for my good. Hallelujah. Yay. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. How many were blessed? How many know that we're blessed? No matter what we're going through, we're blessed. Amen. Y'all can be seated. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. Amen. First of all, I want to thank y'all for coming out to the first night of the Spring Youth Lair Revival. Amen. Put your hands together for that. Hallelujah. Amen. God has allowed us another opportunity to come and do this again here at Pine Hill. Amen. 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 So we're going to start off with a welcome from Zakiria. She's going to come and do our welcome, and then we're going to have a prayer by Anaya, and then a scripture by Mr. Cody. Amen. Put your hands together for them as they come. Good evening. Welcome to our Spring Youth Flare Revival 2024. We hope that something that's being said tonight encourages you to have a great rest of your week, and remember that you're always welcome. Good evening. Bow your hands. Dear Lord, thank you for letting us be able to come together as a congregation and a community to be able to teach us young people things that are important to be able to use later on in life. 
and please let us be able to have safe travels and be safe while we're here celebrating your name. All these things we pray in your son, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Good evening. Um, I'm going to read a scripture. Psalm 100, verses 1 through 5 says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with glad gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that Lord, he is God. It is that he has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy and everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Give our young people another hand. Amen. So we're going to have a little portion right here where we can kind of mix and mingle a little bit. So if you can, stand to your feet and greet at least about three people that you haven't already greeted tonight. And we just walk around the building and just come on. Y'all know how we do here at Pine Hill. We can feel the love. All right. Now, and while we do that, we're going to sing a little song that we do here at our youth department when we get together every now and then. We introduced it on December, I think in January, so we're going to try it again and sing it again tonight. church come get your blessing it's on the way at the Pine Hill Baptist Church come get your blessing it's here today there's a miracle waiting on you choice is up to you now what you gonna do at the Pine Hill Baptist you got a friend in me oh you got a friend in me life can't get you down turn that frown around you got a friend in me What a friend, what a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. Come on, give it up. That was our second time introducing a little song that we sing in our youth department when we get together. Amen? Amen. So we pray that you'll be blessed tonight. Amen? Now listen. Now tonight, y'all already got in the praise and worship and the choir mixed all in one, okay? So y'all got that right there, okay? So um, as far as offering, are we going to do it at the end or you want to do it now? We'll do it at the end as people pass through the door. Let us give our offering. Let us be people of intelligence. I mean, integrity, not intelligence. Well, integrity, intelligence, see, too. But let us be people of integrity. We are God people. I said we are God people. Isn't that right? God can trust us. Amen. We can trust God. God can trust us. Even though we don't come all the way up to the level he wants us to come, I thank God that God knows how to grow us and make us to become 
whom he will have us be. Come on, give God a hand and clap of praise. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. We're not going to be long tonight. Amen. People have tests. They have to take tomorrow. People have school. They have to go to tomorrow. And we are in the midst of having our youth-led spring revival. It's different. I thank God for the praise and worship that we had tonight. Amen. Come on. Come on. Bless. Amen. Sister Young and Sister Evans and Brother Ezra. Thank God for each and every one of you. Thank God for our evangelists. Amen. Thank God for Minister uh, Sneed who is with us. Good to see Lady Fryer tonight. And go ahead and say it tonight. The night, the day marked 30 years we've been together. So y'all need to give her an extra hand. She's been with me 30 plus years, and we've been together 30 plus years. Thank God for that. Thank God for our deacons and musicians. Thank God for our young people, our not so young and not so old, but those that just seasoned just right. Come on, just bless the Lord in the house. We're getting ready to hear from heaven. Amen. And as the preacher man get ready to come, let us focus our mind upon the Lord that the Spirit of God might manifest himself in this place. I'm glad to be back in Pine Hill tonight. I'm glad to be back in Pine Hill tonight. I thank God for allowing me to get back in the Pine Hill one more time. Amen. And I'm going to give him the best that I have. It might not be much, but I'm going to give him the best that I have. We're getting ready to hear from heaven. Amen. This preacher here does not need an introduction to us. Amen. He is the son of my Olive Baptist Church in Fort Mitchell. But I thought about it. I said, well, he's an adopted son of Pine Hill. Amen. Amen. I've known this young man even for a long time. And I've known him when he was small and watched him grow up. And he had always had a fear of the Lord. In other words, he respects the Lord. And he has a love for God. Amen. I love this preacher because he preached like the Lord gave it to him. He don't change. Makes no difference who he's around. He's going to be who he is. And that's what makes his ministry so effective. The anointing of God is upon this young man. And I said to you, my brothers and sisters, let us pray that God's spirit will do what it needs to do in this time in this hour, in this minute, in this second, we are present now living in. And I'm going to let him come like he wants to come. Amen. And I give you none other than the Reverend Jamari Goshe. Come and preach the word. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to preach your word. We thank you, God, for us coming into this place at this time. For truth be told, God, you know that we stand in need of a revival. Father, there your people are weary and well-doing. So, God, I ask now in the name of Jesus that you would come in this place like you did on the day of Pentecost. God, I ask now in the name of Jesus that you would bless us indeed and that you would enlarge our territory. Father, we thank you for giving us one more chance. For Father, we know that it could have been the other way. But God, you woke us this morning. You touched us this morning. God, you spoke to us this morning. You woke us with the touch of your love. God, and we thank you for allowing us to gather in this place. Now, Lord, uh, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thine sight. O oh, Lord, my strength, my redeemer. Father, you know the enemy has been trying to plague on my voice. But I ask that you would give power to my voice so that your people may be receptive and responsive to the word of God going forth today. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Let every heart say amen. 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 But if you're glad to be here, give God some praise tonight. And if you have your Bibles, journey with me to 2 Chronicles, the 20th chapter. God is the joy and the strength of my life. He moves all pain, misery, and strife. Promise to keep me, never to leave me. He'll never, ever.
never come short of his word. I've got to fast and pray, stay in the narrow way. I'll keep my life clean every day. I want to go with him when he comes back. I've come too far and I never turn back. God is, God is, God is, God, God is my all. I know y'all know it today. Help me sing this song. Oh, hey, 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 hey. God is the joy and the strength of my life. He moves all pain, misery, and strife. He promised to keep me, never to leave me. He'll never ever come short of his word. I got to fast and pray, stay in the narrow way. I'll keep my life clean every day. Why well, go shame? I want to go with him. When the Lord comes back, I've come too far and I never say God is God. God is sing God is sing God is love God is God yes he is yes he is yes he is yes he is I want to do a have a witness out there. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. God is. God is my own. Oh. I know he is. I know he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go last time, my oh, oh, eh, oh, 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 I know him. And I found him to be a friend. Second Chronicles chapter 20. And for our clarity tonight, I encourage you to read that entire chapter. Um, it's a good chapter. Uh, but for our time tonight, we want to look at that 15th verse. And as you journey there to 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 15, we thank God for Pastor Fryer uh, for always granting us the opportunity to come and share. Uh, we don't take this, this lightly because uh, this kind of assignment is not an assignment where you bring your best sermon to preach. <laughs> Somebody ought to say amen. Uh, but the people of God are weary. <laughs> The people of God need a revival, and so we thank him for entrusting us with this assignment. And uh, to Reverend Jameer Snee, God bless you uh, for being here. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 15. We need your amens tonight. Can you say that tonight? Amen. 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 Second Chronicles chapter, 5, chapter 20, beginning at verse 15. Uh, today, we know it's a youth revival, but uh, we want to look at the King James Version for our reading tonight. It says, and he said, hearken ye all Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Thou King Jehoshaphat, somebody shout Jehoshaphat. He's going to be our boy for tonight. Jehoshaphat, uh, thus saith the Lord unto you, be not afraid. 
nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but God's. I believe that's enough. You can have your seat tonight. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Tonight for our topic, I want to I wanna talk about what to do when it's out of your hands. Will you repeat that with me tonight? Say what to do when it's out of your hands. Now give God some praise for what he's about to tell you. What to do when it's out of your hands. Brothers and sisters, it is no secret that all of us at some point or stage in life will encounter and have to deal with trials, tests, and or turmoil. I hate tonight to be the bearer of bad news, but I just come tonight to echo the words penned in Job, where it states in Job chapter 14, beginning at verse 14, that man that is born of a woman is of a few days, and they're filled with trouble. I want to let you know tonight that all of us have some fallacy somebody shout fallacy all of us have some fallacies uh, that we have to face that may not be in our favor it may be a physical fallacy to where it seems as if your health or the health of a loved one is not doing well and that it is only growing worse rather than getting any better it may not be a physical fallacy but it may be a family or friendship fallacy so where the same people that hold your last name or the people that you call BFF in your middle or high school smile in your face but stab you in your back. I believe I have a witness in here after a while. It may, it may not be a physical fallacy. It may not be a family fallacy. It may not be a friendship fallacy, but it might be a financial fallacy. So where it seems like you have more debt than you have income. You have more bills than you have money. And it looks as if you have more going out than you have coming in. Somebody ought to come on and go with me tonight. It may not be a physical fallacy. It may not be a family fallacy. And when you all go back to school in the morning, I want you to tell your teacher that you learned the word fallacy and see how proud they are of you. It may not be a family fallacy, a physical fallacy, a friendship fallacy. It might not even be a financial fallacy, but you may be experiencing a faith fallacy. So where you have experienced internal anguish and you're wrestling with the question of life and now you are upset with the father up above and your faith has been shaken. Whatever it is, all of us have some form of a problem that we are dealing with. Uh, it does not matter, church, if you are old or young. Can I debunk the myth tonight here in Pine Hill? Older people are not the only ones experiencing problems. I wish I had some young folk who would look at your mama and say that's right. <laughs> They are not the only one. You are not the only one experiencing problems because just because your elementary, middle, or high school student doesn't have any bills, just because they are in good and pristine health does not mean that they're experiencing problems. Uh, but the enemy is roaming rampant in the halls of these schools. Children daily are dealing with depression. Children Children daily are dealing with suicidal ideations. Children daily are dealing with peer pressure. And they seem like problem is on the left and the right. Brothers and sisters, it does not matter your age, your race, your creed, or your gender. Everybody has a problem. And if I could get some clarity, brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, I wish I had somebody in here who knows about these problems. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I could give you some clarity tonight, these problems, Pastor Fryer, they're not 
carnal problems. But these problems are spiritual. Somebody ought to shout spiritual. I need y'all to talk back to me tonight. Somebody shout spiritual. These are spiritual problems. For the Bible says in Ephesians 6 and 12, Deacon Clyde, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. And can I share with you tonight, brothers and sisters, uh, that you may, the reason why you may be still experiencing these problems that you have right now it probably is because you're aiming to fight a spiritual battle with worldly weapons are y'all here with me tonight I said you're aiming to fight a spiritual battle with worldly weapons but I want to tell you tonight child of God that you can't fight your battles like the world do and expect to win I wish I had a church here tonight. <laughs> I said, you cannot expect to fight your battles like the world do and expect to win. <laughs> you can't fight depression with alcohol and drugs. <laughs> you can't fight a bad relationship by making your children suffer the consequences of neglect and instability because of an ignorant action brought on by an adult. <laughs> you can't fight financial instability by trying to participate in money schemes and money tricks. You can't fight an unloyal significant other by being a trick. Anybody know what a trick is tonight? <laughs> and she known them. But the Bible said the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 10 and 4 that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Somebody ought to shout, yeah. Oh, and I wonder, is there anybody in church tonight who can testify that you've had some battles, you've had some trials, you've had some tribulations, but you used what God gave you and you were victorious? Is there anybody who can testify that when, the, when you fight in the spirit and your heart and mind is stayed on Jesus, that he He'll give you the fix. Somebody shout yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so you have to understand the night church. You have to understand that this is spiritual warfare. Uh, this is spiritual warfare. It's bigger than what your eyes can see. Uh, but I know, I know, I know that you all are asking me the question. I know uh, that there are some things uh, that you are saying, well, Reb, uh, these things are impossible to break free from. There are some things that just seem impossible to come up out of. Uh, you look at your debt to income ratio and you said it's impossible to pay off all of that credit card debt. Uh, you, look, you look at the doctor's report and you says it is impossible for my body to be healed. Uh, you look at your college transcript and you look at the class that you have that you've been taking over and over again or you went to the counselor's office there at Central Russell County or Smith Station and it seems impossible to pass that class. It seems as if you are experiencing a problem uh, that's hard to get out of. Uh, you may be saying that you are doing well. You are doing well in the war. <laughs> but the specific battle is about to take you out. <laughs> Did y'all catch that tonight? Because you do know that a war is made of many battles. And can I tell you, you don't have to win every battle in order to win the war. Are y'all here with me? Somebody, you've been looking at your you've been looking at your winning record, and you said it seems as if I've lost more than I've won. But I come tonight to tell you that you don't have to win them all in order to win the war. 
Somebody ought to shout, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like you have a problem that you cannot solve. And it seems impossible to get out of that problem. But I want to come tonight to tell you uh, that God comes today to answer your question. Uh, when you find yourself dealing with a situation that's out of your hands. Because brothers and sisters, we know that it is mere human nature for us to be in control. I know y'all not going to talk back to me, but I might as well talk anyway. Uh, it is our nature for us to be in control. Any Anybody, I know my aunts and my uncles and my grandmother is here, uh, and Jameer is here, he works with me. Everybody know that most of the time, I like to be in control. I like to be able to manage how the operations, Ashani, you might as well start smiling over there. <laughs> I like to be in control of how the operations go because I know that if I can control it, I know the result that it'll yield. Are y'all here with me? But what do you do when you find yourself in a situation <laughs> that you can't control? <laughs> What do you do when you find yourself in a class that you can't strategize your way out of? What do you do when you find yourself in a relationship that you can't love your way into? What do you do when you find yourself with a problem that's out of your hands? Oh, uh, well, 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 God comes tonight to tell you through the story of Jehoshaphat. He says, he says, this one is on me. Are y'all with me? He says, he says, I want, I want to put in a voucher for you. He says, this battle that you're facing that seems unbearable, unbearable, it's on me. I got the check tonight. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, he says, I'm going to be the one to handle the battle. And this is the testimony of our biblical protagonist tonight, King Jehoshaphat. Uh, uh, King Jehoshaphat, my brothers and sisters there in 2 Chronicles, uh, the Bible says that a great multitude, uh, the children of Moab, the children of Ammon, uh, and with them others beside the Ammonites, uh, they came against Jehoshaphat to battle. And the Bible says that this multitude came up to wage war against King Jehoshaphat. And so when King Jehoshaphat was able to look at this multitude, when he looked at those bills, when he looked at that health report, when he looked at that progress report, it seemed as if it was a situation that he would not be able to conquer. And so the Bible tells us that Jehoshaphat, as natural as it is, Jehoshaphat got a little scared. Uh, he, he feared, he feared. But what happens is he does good God Almighty, he does not allow his fear to transform into irrelevant action. Can I tell you, it's okay to have initial fright. <laughs> because if you notice, in the Bible, every single time when an angel comes down, the angel has to say, fear not. <laughs> uh, be not afraid. <laughs> uh, so let me tell you, that initial fright is all right because we are not Jesus Christ. Uh, but you cannot stay in that initial stage of being scared. You cannot allow that fear to prompt you to doing things that you know God doesn't want you to do. Uh, and so Jehoshaphat, as natural as it was, the Bible, I hope you didn't close your Bible tonight, the Bible in verse 3 says that King Jehoshaphat feared. But what he does shares some great tidbits and nuggets for us as believers tonight. Uh, and so I know I know you're saying, well, if God says that this one is on me and it's out of my hands, what should I do? I see you tonight. I see everybody has on their war clothes. You have on your camouflage and you came ready to wage war against the enemy. But before you go out on the battlefront tonight, I I want to tell you what you need to do. Uh, the Bible, King Jehoshaphat gives us three things to look at. He says the first thing that you do when it's out of your hands, he says, is you have to learn how to pray. Everybody shout pray. 
He says you have to learn how to pray. Uh, after Jehoshaphat feared, after, after he got the bad news, after he got the bad news, uh, Jehoshaphat feared, but he turned into a posture of seeking the Lord. Uh, and he proclaimed a fast all throughout of Judah. And can I tell you, my brothers and sisters, it is important to know that prayer and fasting is still works. Are y'all here with me tonight? Prayer and fasting, it still works. It still changes things. Your posture of prayer, it matters. Can I tell you, as I was traveling in the airport on the other day, I thought about something when thinking of this message. Uh, that was a bottle of water. And that bottle of water, when we were on the ground, cost it $1.99. Are y'all here with me? Yeah, yeah. But after we moved through TSA, the bottle of water went from $1.99 to $4.99. Now, y'all know I'm cheap, and so I said, now, I know I'm not going to pay that much for a bottle of water. <laughs> but, Pastor Fryer, Reverend Sneed, what, 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 <laughs> dawned on me was that wasn't the end. It went from $1.99 to $4.99. But when I got on the plane, the water was $6. And it was the same Dasani water. But let me tell you what the Lord placed in my spirit from seeing that. He says the content of the water did not change. He says, but the posture and placement of the water changed. And because of the placement of the water, the value changed. And can I tell you, brothers and sisters, you have something worth living for on the inside of you. All you have to do is change your posture and placement from looking outward. <laughs> To getting down on your knees and when you go down on your knees what's on the inside will increase in value i wish i had somebody who knew that prayer has some power if you know it show you yeah. Yeah, 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 he prays. The Bible shares his prayer in chapter 20 between verses 5 and 12. Uh, he prays that prayer. Now, I want you to go and look at that. His, he prays that prayer. He had a posture change. Uh, but not only did we see his prayer, somebody shout prayer. Not only do we see the prayer, but he says, when it's out of your hands, not only should you pray, but you should also remember the promise. Somebody shout promise. Uh, the Bible says, the Bible says that after Jehoshaphat prays uh, that he receives a promise. Uh, he receives a promise. Uh, and it's right there, it's right there, it's right there in verses 14 and 15. Uh, the Bible says that Jehazel, uh, the son of Zechariah, uh, the spirit of the Lord came upon him uh, and he shared a promise with King Jehoshaphat. Uh, and he told King Jehoshaphat he said, I saw you in the window when you got a little scared when the bad news came to you. And I saw that your posture changed into a posture of prayer. But he said, boy, I want to tell you, be not afraid. Don't be scared. You want to look at your neighbor and say, don't be scared. He says, don't be scared. Uh, he says, because this battle, this news, this problem that you're facing, God sent me to tell you that this one is on me. And that he has picked up the bill. And that's the same news I want to tell you tonight. That God comes today to tell you that it does not matter how sick you are. It does not matter how broke you are. I know that the report card looks bad. I know that that relationship that you've been keeping from your mama and daddy. Is going wayward. <laughs> But God comes tonight to tell you that this check is on me and that he's picked up the bill. And I wonder if there's anybody in church tonight who can give God some praise to know that when you can't handle it, when you can't solve it, that God will pick you up. He'll turn you around 
and he'll pick up the charges. If you believe it, shout yay! Oh yeah, I might as well go tonight. Uh, we see, we see that. We see uh, when it's out of your hands, you got to learn to pray. Somebody shout pray. pray. Not only should you pray, but you should listen for and remember the promise. Somebody shout the promise. I come tonight to tell y'all. I, I think of an old song that James Cleveland sang. I want to tell you, I'm living for the promise. <laughs> You ought to look at somebody and say, I'm living for the promise. <laughs> oh, I'm living for the promise. Oh, we see, you have to pray. We have to listen and learn and remember the promise. Uh, uh, but he says, you pray, listen, and remember the promise. Uh, but he says, the last thing that you must do is you might as well go ahead and praise him. <laughs> somebody shout praise. Uh, yeah, yeah. So after, after Jehoshaphat received the word from the Lord... Uh, the Bible says that Jehoshaphat, right there in verse 18, bowed his head with his face to the ground. <laughs> and all of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. <laughs> well, now, why, why does Jehoshaphat do this? Because, you know, as I was reading and I was making sure that I was in line with each verse, I noticed that what seemed like to me the chronological order of these verses were out of whack. <laughs> because you know how we do. We wait until we receive the promise in order to praise the Lord. But as I was reading, I noticed, I noticed that they praised him before the promise. <laughs> But can I tell you, I listened to one of our boys in our mentorship program that blessed me. He reminded me of a scripture that we see executed right here in 2 Chronicles chapter 20. Uh, the Bible tells us that every promise in him is yes and amen. So if God sends you a promise, it will come to pass. That's why you might as well go ahead and praise him. Uh, so the Bible says that he praised and he led his people to praising the Lord before the promise even came to fruition. And I want to encourage you to do that tonight as we journey together for the next two days. I want you before you even receive the good news from the doctor to go ahead and praise the Lord. I know that you've been worrying about a parent that seems as if they won't get well. It seems like the more medication you draw out of their bag, the more medication they find to take. But I want to tell you, don't worry. Don't be afraid. Go ahead and praise the Lord because his promises are yes and amen. I, I, I know that the year is almost up and that graduation is right around the corner and it seems as if your credits aren't lining up just right and it seems as if they are provoking you that you may not be able to walk in May but I want to tell you don't worry but let me put a pen right there why you're not worrying you need to use that time and go study and while you're studying, make sure you put a praise on it. Come on, Major, let's go on to F Major. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. While you are not worrying, go ahead, go ahead and give God praise. Because it's already done. I want to tell you tonight, it may seem like you have more debt than you have money. It seems like the bill collectors are calling you from every which way. You went up to Verizon to change your phone number just to keep the bill collectors from calling you. But it seemed like they still found your name. But I want to tell you tonight, don't worry. Don't, worry. Oh, don't fret. Go ahead and give God praise because it's already, already done. Will you find yourself uh, with a situation uh, that's out of your hand? Uh, you try every solution. Uh, you try every test. Uh, you try everything uh, that you can think of. Uh, I want you uh, to go to bed tonight. Uh, don't worry, don't fret, look up to heaven and say I lift my eyes to the hill.
from which cometh my help all my help comes from the Lord do I have anybody here who can understand that if you wait on the Lord he will come because the Bible said they that wait upon the Lord shall have a renewed strength they're going to mount up with we as an eagle you shall run and not be weary you shall walk and not faint so I want to tell you you might be dealing with a situation that seemed too hard hold on hold on trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding in all your ways all your way acknowledge the Lord he will direct your path if you believe it say it say it say it oh yeah Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, what a word, what a word, what a word. To those of the churches that are open, if you are out in Ark of Safety, today, this hour is your opportunity. Don't put it all. For we know not what the next day, in fact, don't know what next hour or minute, even second will bring. Now is the time. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Oh, I know the storm. Oh, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, I know the storm. Oh, you pray for me, and I pray for you. I that's a way. We Christians do for oh, we know the star. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Oh, I know the storm. Oh, I'm sometime up and sometime down. I sometime almost level to the ground. But that's all right. But I know the storm. Would that be one this evening? Oh, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, I know the star. One more verse. Oh, I went in the valley, and I didn't go to stay. 
my soul got happy and I stayed, I stayed all day, but I know the storm. I know the storm. Amen. Amen. Remain standing. We're getting ready to leave here in just a moment. Got anything you want to say, Brother Jackson? Uh, just remember tomorrow, uh, we are asking that you bring some more youth, that we fill the house with young people. Amen? Amen. Now, you can come back, too, now, <laughs> the others, but we are mainly focusing, making sure that our young people are here this week, all right? Remember, tomorrow we're supposed to be denim night, and then the next night is supposed to be school spirit night and also pizza night as well. So we thank you again for coming on tonight, and tomorrow let's come back with a greater praise. Amen? Amen. Now, do you have a couple of young people? Yes, sir, for offering. Cody, you're to stand at this door, and... Um, Don Tavius supposed to stand at that door. And the baskets? Yes, sir. The baskets are already there. The basket is back there, too, as well. Amen. Now, Don listen. Tavis. Let's bring our young people out here. This man is preaching. Amen. And this man is giving, making things plain and simple, relevant and understandable to our young people. And our young people need to hear the message. Our not so young and not so old need to hear, too. Yes, sir. What a word, what a word. Go away telling and asking and inviting others to come. Amen. This preacher is on fire. Amen. And we want him to burn. We want him to burn. Amen. And that means we continue to pray for him. Amen. He got to go back up this highway. Amen. Let's pray that God cover and be upon him. And that he makes it back to Montgomery safely. And that we all make it back to our state places safely. That Baltimore situation up there, that could have been us. Amen. We don't know. That's why I'm careful when I'm going on the big bridge. All right. I don't like to be on them very long. Because <laughs> you never know what can happen upon you. But good thing about it, we're all in God's hand. And whatever he allowed is for our good. Come on, preacher. You coming back another night, aren't you? God bless you. We'll let you talk another night. Come on, preacher. Go take your test. Man, thank you. We look forward to seeing you all again on tomorrow night, like they both said. Be sure to let's pack the house tonight. Uh, we can go throughout the football games and basketball tournaments. You don't hear me. <laughs> uh, so let's be sure to bring our friends on tomorrow night. Uh, and let's make sure that we're remembering these messages. I believe it's gonna guarantee it's gonna benefit you in the end. <laughs> Amen. So let us pray tonight. God, we thank you. Uh, Father, for we know that although we may be experiencing a problem that's out of our hands, God, we've been praying to you. We're listening for the promise, and God, we're praising you right now because we believe it's already done. God, we know that it's done because you've done it through your darling son, Jesus, that died on Mount Calvary but rose again on the third day morning. God, we thank you, and we ask that you would bless these series of revivals. We ask now, God, that you would strengthen your people, God, that they might be responsive and receptive to the word of God going forth. We ask now, God, for traveling grace and arriving mercy back to our various destinations, both near and far, to find all things well. In Jesus' name we pray. Let every heart say amen. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon.